The thing you do not want to hear tomorrow morning when you're sitting on the plane is, hello, I'm John, I'm your pilot. This is the first time I've ever flown a Boeing 747. I hope you'll enjoy it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. No. We appreciate our experts. We want expert pilots. We want expert doctors. Experts are important to our economy, our livelihood. We all try to be experts. There are lots of experts in this room. And the process of becoming an expert means you start down your path, and then you work at, with some effort, time, more time, some money, some education, and it leads to success, which is great, and it's really important. The problem is that it's hard to get motivated to begin something new because you know that there's a lot of time, effort, money down the road. So I'm going to offer you a different model. And the model is something I've been doing, which is being a serial beginner. <laughs> so instead of going through that other process, you just begin and you begin and begin. You have fun, and it also leads to success. And I'm going to actually prove this. So a, a couple of years ago, I uh, did a thing where I tried to make something new every week for a year. And all I was going to do is start something new, uh, document the process, take pictures, and then blog about it. So I made uh, about 30 things, so almost not quite a, a one a week, um, including a cat toy that actually worked, a fitness wristband to keep myself healthy, uh, a candle that you can blow out, an LED candle. Um, thanks to folks at ProPublica and the New York Times who had talked about uh, taking um, satellite images. Is this going to move? Go. Next one. I think it's stuck. There you go. So uh, I learned how to do selfies from space using Landsat satellites and images from there, which is not easy. Um, also made this texting thermometer, which would take, text, uh, take readings, thermometer readings, and text them to my phone. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I also made a little bot that you could have a conversation with. You know, it was very, very simple. It would ask you about cats and dogs. Um, more recently, I uh, made some dinosaurs out of fruit, and I bought a bunch of civil tokens. Yeah. So none of this did I do for work. This was not something that was on my to-do list, none of these things. This was about play. I wanted to play. It was much more like um, playing with Legos or uh, being on a jungle gym. There was no goal, no aim to any of this work. It was just for my own enjoyment. Um, a friend of mine who's a minister said, you know what you're doing? You're kind of like doing a spiritual practice. I was like, OK, I don't know that much about that, but OK, that sounds good. But it's also been leading to a lot of successes. For example, my selfies from space, I happen to have an image of Jamaica Bay that we used at WNYC that week. Somebody wanted an image of Jamaica Bay. I kind of had it. Also, um, at WNYC, the texting thermometer led to a project where we made 50 uh, temperature loggers that we put in Harlem apartments to document the problem of overheating apartments in the summer in New York City. This led to a whole bunch of coverage about the issue um, and lots of good stories, some community meetings, and even a journal article that is coming out like this week. And I'm an author on a journal article? That is whack. So apparently one of the 18 people who were reading my blog was a uh, um, editor at Make Magazine's book division and asked me if I wanted to write a book. So I wrote a book. You can actually buy this book. The little chat bot that I made um, led to one of the biggest uh, crowdsourcing projects we did at WNYC, the election land thing that we just launched this week, and oh, also like my job at Quartz, right? Like that was related. Um, these two guys here were actually machine learning projects that I uh, was just playing with, led to my first byline on QZ.com. And then this thing, which we haven't actually told anybody about, except a couple of people I talked to about today, thanks to the Knight Foundation, don't talk about it yet, we're going to announce it soon, we're launching the Quartz AI Studio to help journalists in newsrooms use machine learning to report their stories. We need, re we need partners for that, so let's talk. The civil token, I don't know where that's going to go. 
<laughs> well, I guess we'll all find out. Uh, but it did lead to uh, Josh Benton calling me up and saying, hey, do you want to write a post for Neiman Lab? Probably the most uh, widely read thing I've written in a long time. So I just want to propose beginning as a practice, doing it repeatedly, intentionally. It's a lot of fun, and maybe you'll save journalism in the process. <laughs>